www.ifm.org.uk The best thing in life is to see the sunrise. And yeah, they'll, they'll all be um, on sale. Okay. Now, um, I, I'm assuming the reason you chose that location is because you're, you're from the borough. Precisely, yeah. When did you um, come to the borough? How long have you been in the borough? Um, from 1991. Um, I was born here, yeah. um, but my parents are, um, we're all from Ghana. Okay. Um, so, yeah, I lived in Ghana for a while and then okay. came back. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I've been doing it since that time. Okay, really, yeah. what part of the borough did you grow up in? Um, Wilson Green. Okay. Yeah, yeah up same, pretty close to where I grew up, actually. Oh, okay. Because I grew up near the um, train station, Wilson oh, Green right. train station. Okay. So, um, when did you start um, becoming involved with art? When did you, art take you? Um, I mean, for me, it wasn't even a, a case of um, becoming involved. It was... Yeah. It was the most natural thing to express since yeah. I was a kid. Um, I mean, I know all kids draw, yeah. but for me, it was a very serious thing from the age of about three. Um, yeah. I drew obsessively and have never really stopped till now, really. Yeah. So it's it's just been constant, one one thing after the other. Okay, yeah. and I, I understand that um, you went school to school locally. I did, yeah. And you won your first art prize at school. Can That's you tell right, us yeah. about that process? What, yeah, what sure. happened there? Um, the school I went to was Walls and High. Yeah. Um, I know a lot of people know about Wolves and High. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, once I was at Wolves and High, I sort of continued to work really, really hard, um, both at school and at home. Yeah. And um, this is on art mainly? Mainly on art. Okay. Yeah, that's right. And um, it just got to a point where I was very, pretty much near to finishing my A-levels. Yeah. And uh, my teacher said to me, um, I had been nominated for um, an award called a Peter Evans. Wow. And it was the first of a time. Yeah. And I thought, you know, why? How? Yeah. But anyway, um, he sort of came back about four days yeah. and um, said to me, um, you've, you've got it. You're going to get £950. Wow. And I thought, oh, <laughs> okay, thank you very much. And he, he said to me, no, but you really, really deserve it. You've been working so hard. Yeah. You really deserve it. So, you know, be happy. Yeah. So, yeah, I jumped around and uh, <laughs> shouted hallelujah. <laughs> now, um, the thing about yeah. Wilson High is yeah. it, it did get knocked down. Yeah, it and did. And now sitting in its place is the... Capital City Academy, That's right, yeah. yeah, and you're back there. I believe. I'm back there, yeah, indeed. So, yeah. Uh, how how comes you're back at school, Eugene? Um, basically, um, I mean, I've been doing lots and lots of different works, yeah. and uh, my latest sort of reinvention in terms of my work um, is called the cover apps. Okay. And basically, my cover ups, um, I use a lot of wrapping tapes and stuff like that. Okay. But um, I mainly sort of look at youth culture. Is and it the way, wrapping yeah. tapes or wrapping paper or, um, what, or just tapes? Wrapping tapes, wrapping yeah. paper, um, anything that basically hides um, images. Okay. Um, and because of the sort of youth um, youth point of view yeah. um, um, of the themes and all that sort of stuff, um, I decided to sort of, I wanted to be in a location where I could get a direct sort of inspiration um, from young people. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, that's why I sort of went back, contacted my teachers and um yeah so did you propose the project because it's very unusual to have an artist in residence it is yeah (laughs) (laughs) it is yeah i mean um what 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 i did before um i sort of phoned around and investigated and i realized um this sort of residence is the first ever to sort of happen in any um school in the country and how's it going it's going really really well i mean um the kids are incredible they're they're really really inspiring me yeah and um i get sort of about 15 students every single day watching me paint asking okay. me questions and yeah the interaction is really great okay. and are they making things yeah. they're making things um i'm helping out especially the a-level students okay. um, who are making sort of sculptures and um, paintings yeah. drawings mixed media sort of stuff okay um so yeah i'm, I'm really embracing and just helping them as much as i can okay yeah. so w- when you started painting as a as a youngster and you sure. developed and you developed yeah what, what kind of artwork are you creating what did you start and how has it has it progressed okay um i started by sort of doing um lots and lots of drones of my mother yeah. Um, father, you know, brothers, sisters, um, whether they were cooking, sleeping, um, you know, I don't know, peeling a uh, um, banana. <laughs> it was just like um, stuff like that. And um, I sort of moved up um, into doing a lot of um, printmaking. Yeah. Um, and then after I, I was done with the printmaking, I started well, what making. What were you using to make, do printmaking? Yeah. Just um, print sort of, um, it, it was like liner cut, uh, me- okay. meaning you get so a, you're yeah. like similar to potato cuts is precisely that yeah what, 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 what would you use yeah. um what i what i use um it was this um rubber okay. thing um and i'll get a scar pole um so that i i, I carve into into yeah. the rubber yeah um i put a bit of ink yeah um, and then i print onto a piece of paper okay. and then i draw into it and do various bits and pieces okay yeah so it's um it's actually printmaking with with your artwork Exactly. In, in, into into in, in, into yeah, linked. In, exactly. Yeah. Okay. Sort of experimenting. Yeah. Okay. And then what have you done after? Um, that? And after that, I sort of moved into performance art. 
um, okay. meaning I sort of um, made costumes which were African in influenced. Okay. Um, I made sort of um, lots and lots of sculptures as well, using um, African foods. And the performance, yeah. the, the costumes you were making, were yeah. they used in, in performances or yes. were they, s yeah. or what, did they stand in exhibitions? Um, they stood in exhibitions, but okay. um, I sort of um, toured them around um, yeah. in Brent, which is about, I think, seven years ago. Okay. Um, so they were showed in um, various places, including Housing and Library, okay. Wilson Green, the Brent Artist um, Resource, yeah. Yeah. and various places outside London really yeah. and what kind of images were they? Um, they they had a slightly sort of voodoo kind of look about okay. them um, but you know when you got close it was friendly because um, I used you know bits of banana um, yam okay. um, and, and foods we all eat every day you know? uh, what, as part of the <laughs> yeah, as, okay. yeah as in the heads features you know <laughs> noses lips everything else yeah <laughs> so what what are you currently doing what, what what's currently um, your art form okay uh, my 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 current work is um, I call my cover-ups yeah. um, as, as I mentioned earlier yeah. um, it's all about sort of covering um, images up with wrapping tape okay. um, and therefore making them very mysterious okay. um, so what I'm trying to do is to get the viewer to sort of get closer to the works to, to sort of have a have a closer look and can yeah. I mean you, you've got an image you've covered it up how That's can right. they see the image well, okay. how do they see that image um, what I do is I leave bits and pieces out okay. so what I'm doing is basically tempting people to want to have a closer look or try and work out what's behind precisely okay. yeah but what I do um, is I normally after covering up I normally give um, the pieces a strong image yeah. So that sort of catches people's attention, and then they get closer to look at what's behind that image. Okay. Um, yeah. What el What's What have you got planned for the future? What's coming um, up for you? Yeah, um, I'm sort of hard at work, um, pr making lots of you know big works for for a solo show, hopefully sometime this year. Um, but apart from that, I've also got lots of commissions I'm doing for people in, in terms of children's books. That sort of thing, but okay. um, I hope to be, you know, having a, a show in America sometime soon. Brilliant. Yeah. Um, you mentioned that actually, I'm gonna um, say this really quickly that yeah. you um, did some work for um, Screen Nation Awards, and we had him in as a guest yeah. on the live culture yeah. show. Okay. What kind of work was that? Um, it was it was mainly portraits. Um, okay. So basically, um, portraits that sort of express my 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 um, what's the word I'm looking for? My interpretation of these stars and okay. you know TV. Um, yeah. Okay. Um, TV celebrities. Yeah. Okay, well, thank you very much for joining us no here problem. on the Live Culture Show. Yeah. Um, um, good luck with your future projects. And tell us how people can find your or see your work. Sure. Um, if you go on MySpace, yeah. it's www.myspace.com forward slash Eugene Ancoma. Okay. Um, I'll spell that, my surname. It's A N K O M A H. And there's lots and lots of great and exciting stuff on there. Okay. Anything yeah. else that the, where they can look and see your stuff or places yeah. they can go? Um, we're having a private view for the Graffiti Express okay. um, exhibition yeah. this Thursday from 6 to 9 30. So please come along. Um, it's free. And um, yeah, just come and um, be inspired, basically. Thanks for joining us here on Live Thank Culture. You very Coming much. up Thanks next, we've got the, uh, the Zulu Nation rap show with Hailey and TJ. You are listening to one of three points, is Yeah, baby! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, mate. It's Life FM, innit? Yeah.